Okay, for uh, 20, uh, this is going to be a lot of graphing. Um, that is the easiest way that you can tell. So, we're asked to find the domain range horizontal and vertical asymptote of this function. So, the first thing that I want you to do is graph it. Okay? Uh, so, when you graph it, you're supposed to have exactly like this. Notice that there is an LN. So, there's an LN next to your 4. So, you're going to press this. And then we're going to start typing ln of parentheses x plus 1, close parentheses, minus 2, okay? Do not have this open. It makes a huge difference, okay? This is saying natural log of this, and then in the side, minus this, okay? Uh, we're going to grab this. And when we graph it, this is what it looks like, okay? It kind of looks very funky. So... It kind of looks like it starts right here, and then it keeps going. So if we're trying to find the domain, this is where it kind of goes, right? From here all the way to that part. But the calculator sucks at graphing this. So you have to remember, when you have this, and it seems like it stops there for uh, logs, it actually keeps going all the way down, 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 down. So basically, in here, let me erase that ugly thing. In here, we have an asymptote, okay? We have an asymptote. Our graph just keeps going, 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 all the way down. It never crosses this line, so we're going to have an asymptote right around there, okay? Whatever that is. So... You can get really close to it and see what asymptote is going to be. It looks like it's going to be a negative 1. Okay? So now we have a line here going up and down that is the asymptote, a negative 1. Is that a horizontal or vertical? So in this, since it's up and down, that is a vertical asymptote. So I'm going to go ahead and answer this. Okay? Vertical asymptote. Okay? We have a vertical asymptote there. And notice it only touches the x-axis, so this is going to be an x is equal to, and we said it was at negative 1 around there, so I'm going to say negative 1. Now, we get this asymptote from here. This makes the graph move to the left, so all logs, okay, this natural log, the next log, and all the logs have only vertical asymptotes, okay, only vertical asymptotes, they do not have horizontal asymptotes, even though it kind of looks like it's kind of getting an asymptote there, this is going to keep going, 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 up, 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 okay, so it's going to keep going to the side and up and up and up and up and up, so we only have a vertical asymptote, in here horizontal asymptote, put an A, now that we have an asymptote, we can go and talk about domain. The domain is going to go from left, reading it from left. We don't have anything until we hit this point right here, which is, which is a negative 1. So the domain goes from negative 1, okay? We do not include that because our graph... It's going to get really, really close, but it's never going to touch. So we say it goes from negative 1 all the way to positive infinity. And we use parentheses. Now, the range is what's going to be confusing, okay? The range is not from, from here up. It's not from, what is it, negative 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not from negative 4. This graph actually keeps going, 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 going all the way down. Okay, and it's going to go from negative infinity all the way to, right, comes from all the way from the bottom all the way to, this is going to keep going up, 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 so it's from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. We also call this all real numbers. So that's the answers that you should have for this problem, okay? You need to be very familiar of the asymptotes for log and for exponential, okay? They're the inverse of each other. 
Let's jump to 21. 21, we are not asking for uh, the domain range or anything like that. We are asked for the transformations, okay? So in here, you're supposed to know that this three is going to make it vertical stretch by three. This negative two is going to make it move side to side, okay? If it is negative, it moves it to the positive number. So this case is going to be two units to the right. And then this... is going to make it go up one. You can see it in the graph, guys. So if we grab this function, three, okay, three log of x minus two plus one. So we start and move it to the right two units, right? We usually start right here. We're gonna move it to the right two units, one, two. We are also going to move it up one, okay? So notice, if we write the same thing, without the plus one, it's gonna be the exact same thing, but lower. X plus two. And I'm not gonna put the plus one, so you can see that the other one is lower, so. The plus one is going to make it rise up, and then the three is going to make it stretch. So if I remove the three, and I do the exact same thing, this one, the first one, the original one is going to be a little more stretched. This one is a little bit more flat, you see? So the three is going to make it stretch. So these are the transformations. For number 22, this negative right here. is going to make it reflect, okay? So it's gonna make it reflect over X over X axis this plus two is going to make it go Positive numbers go to the left, okay? This makes it side to side. If it's inside the parentheses, it makes it move side to side. It's going to make move to the left two. So now we can test it out again. If we have negative log of x plus two, okay? Notice that it goes and opens downward it's from here and it opens downward instead of opening like this, like the other ones. That's what the negative makes it do. And it also doesn't start at zero. It moves to the left. Okay, so we're going to move it to the left. Two units. One, two. Let's go to the back side, and I'm going to go over 23. Now, we're no longer talking about logs. We're talking about exponential. In here, 23, we need to graph this, okay? So when we graph it, we need to put exactly as it is here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to have negative E, okay? So there's two ways of going to E. So we can go and press second, and then LN, so I can give you the E to the power of X, or you can just press second, divide, and this gives you the E, okay? I am used to just putting second divide, so I have negative X to the power, so we make it go and carry 
and you have x plus 2, and then you move it to this side, plus 4, to put a plus 4, big kind. We graph that, and this is what we get, okay? Now, I mentioned that logs have a up and down asymptote. This one has a side to side. All the ones that have uh, that are exponential have side to side asymptotes. So in here, this keeps going down, down, down into the right. Okay, so this is going to keep going down, 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 down into the right, 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 right. And it keeps going and going and going. This one keeps going to the left, but it is never going to cross this imaginary line. Okay, so we basically have something like this. Now, don't ever write in my calculators, but since they're mine, I can write on them to just explain the point of an asymptote, okay? The asymptote is going to get really, really, really close. I mean, the graph is going to get really, really, really close to the asymptote, but it's never going to touch, okay? And this one is a side-to-side -side horizontal asymptote. So for... 23, I'm only going to have a horizontal asymptote. We don't have a vertical, so I can put NA. Now, this one is going to be at 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to be a 4. Now, we need to determine what is the only axis that is touching. It only touches the y-axis. This is the y-axis. So, it's going to be y equals, okay? That's the equation. You cannot put 4. 4 is not an equation. It's just a number. So make sure when you de describe this, you actually put a 4 equals y, not just 4. Now that we have the asymptotes, we are going to talk about domain and range. So the domain, right, we mentioned that this keeps going left, 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 left. So the domain is going to go from negative infinity all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way to... This keeps going down, down, down into the right, so all the way to positive infinity. So from negative infinity, whoa, that's an 8. What am I doing with my life? Negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. We also know that as all real numbers. Now the range is a little difficult now. Uh, we start all the way at the bottom, right? This is going to keep going all the way down. So our range is from negative infinity, and it's going to keep going up, 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 until we get to this point. Negative infinity all the way to 4. So it's going to be negative infinity all the way to 4. Now, we do not include the 4, so that's what we're going to put a parenthesis. And the 4 comes from here because we move four units up, right? That's why we have the asymptote move up. Now, let's go on to 24. We're going to describe, describe the transformations. So two, the two that is multiplied is going to make it go and have a vertical stretch by two. This negative 2 is going to make it move side to side, okay? It's like, it's like the parenthesis here. So this is going to make it move, if it's positive, it moves to the negative numbers. If it's negative, it moves to the positive numbers. So this one is negative, it's going to move to the right. So it's going to be a right, whoa, right 2, and then... This one is going to go and move up one. And we can see it. So if we grab this up, okay, let me move the ugly writing that I've been doing in my calculators. If we grab this, guys, you can see the transformations if we just put one at a time. It's really hard to tell the transformations when everything is all put together. But if you just do one at a time or remove one at a time to see the consequence of the, of the absence. So this, we're gonna have three to the power of x minus two and then we go to the right, 
plus 1. So notice, the asymptote in here is lifted, okay? So that we usually have an asymptote here at 0. We lifted 1 because of this one, okay? And then 2, you can't really tell, but look, if we put the exact same thing, well, 2 to the power of... 2 times 3 to the power of x plus 1, you can see that this is moved to the right 2. So we move the to the right 2 units, right? You can see this, they have the same asymptote. One starts here, right? The one that we put second, and the other one moves 2 units to the right. And then let's erase that and put the negative 2. Now we're going to see the effect of the 2. The first one has it all. And then the second one is going to be a little we have right. Mm, I made a mistake. So in here it kind of looks weird but in here I need to put a negative. And then we graph it. And then you can see that one is uh, more stretched. So it's like we grabbed it from top and bottom and we just said, okay. The second one is uh, the one with the two that is absent, okay. So the two makes it stretch. So let's go over to 25. 25, this is going to make it go and have a reflection. Over, whoa, over x-axis. And this one is going to make it go down two and you don't have to have another dot I messed up on that one so down to these are the transformations remember the number that is all the way to the right is not a little number moves it up and down this one makes it reflective is negative and the number if we have a four or five or makes a stretch if we have something lower like one half one fourth makes it compress okay then the number in the top with the X makes it move side to side Let's go over 26, okay? In here, uh, from 26 to 31, we're going to be looking for the asymptotes, okay? That means horizontal or vertical. We are never going to have, for these functions that we're talking about, exponential and log, we are never going to have uh, both horizontal and vertical, okay? So notice in our examples before, when we had exponential, we only had a horizontal, okay? So for anything that is exponential, I'm only going to have a horizontal. For anything that is log, I'm only going to have a vertical, okay? So I'm going to go and go over each one so it can make sense to you. For 26, for 26, I'm going to graph problem 26, negative 3. And then we have a 3, we have that raised to the power of x minus 1 plus 4. We graph that up. And notice that it's almost like a line in here, guys. It didn't even move. So there is our asymptote, okay? So you can kind of count 1, 2, 3, 4. But you can also say, hey, this... 4 right here made it move up 4, therefore my asymptote also moved up 4. So I'm going to have a line that is just like that, okay? So in here, my asymptote is going to be right here. 
Okay. Uh, now, in this one, since it's a horizontal line, okay, side to side is a horizontal. Whoa. Horizontal asymptote. Okay. We are only going to have one. There is no vertical. There's no line like this. This keeps going on and to the right. So my equation is going to be 1, 2, 3, 3, 4. 4 is equal to, it only crosses the y-axis. So it's going to be 4 is equal to y. So y is equal to 4. Now that is answer mm, y is equal to 4. Answer A. We're going to do the exact same thing for the next one. I'm going to have parentheses, 1 divided by 4. And then that, we're going to raise it to the power of x plus 3. Minus 2. Graph it. Now, which one looks like a line? Okay. So, in here, this is the one that looks like a line. Right. Whoa. That was awful. This one. Okay. That one kind of looks like a line. So, I'm going to have an asymptote. there okay that is negative one negative two okay that negative two comes from here because we move the graph two units down so it's similar okay to the other one in the sense that this is going to be again a horizontal asymptote and since it only crosses the y-axis right, this is the y-axis it only crosses that one I'm going to have y is equal to, is down 2, so it's going to be negative 2. So my answer is y equals negative 2, once again, is choice A. So my answer is A. Now, they're not all going to be A. So I'm going to go over the next one. Put in the exact same thing. Graph the line. Negative. Boom. Negative. Second to the. Divide. Negative E. Raised to the power of X. Plus 7. We graph it. Which one looks like a line again? This one. Okay, we have a line somewhere there. Let me put red so it's more visible. So we have a asymptote right here. This is a horizontal asymptote. And the equation of that is y is equal to I don't know it crosses the y axis. This is the y axis. Y is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Y is equal to 7. Now, we also can get it from here because we move the graph 7 units up. That's why the asymptote is y equals 7. So, our answer is once again A. Now, it should start to make a pattern, okay? Notice, there are similarities in here. They all are exponential, okay? So we have a, all three have exponential. This is exponential, this is exponential, and this is exponential. They all have only a horizontal asymptote, horizontal asymptote, horizontal asymptote, okay? At y equals, y equals, y equals. The number 4, negative 2, 7.
Okay. Now that is not going to be the same for log. So I'm going to go over the ones for log. For log, we have. Whoa! Can't get it in the camera. Let's start with twenty nine. So I'm going to grab that one. And to grab this one, I'm going to go and say math. We in y equals, let me erase that. Math all the way up to log base. And then I'm going to put 2 as the base and x minus 2. And then in the outside of that, plus 1. And we get this. Now, we talked about this. How in here, it kind of looks like it stops right there. But it actually doesn't stop there, okay? This is not where it stops. This line keeps going, 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 going. Let me put another color. I don't like this color. This keeps going, 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 going. But it never crosses this line because in here it's like we have a asymptote right there. Okay, so even though it seems like it stops there, there's a line that is gonna keep going and going and going and going and going. Well, and going and going and going. It's never gonna cross this red line. Okay. Because this red line is the asymptote. Now, since it's up and down, this is a vertical asymptote. Okay? And we have a different equation. We have x is equal to uh, 1 and 2. x is equal to 2. Now, it is x because in here it only crosses the x-axis okay this is the x-axis and my asymptote only crosses the x-axis right there so it's going to be x equals 1 and 2 okay we can also check in here this graph moves to the right too because of this and this number controls the asymptote okay since he moves it to the right, that's why we have a positive asymptote, I mean a positive number for the asymptote. So my answer for this one is x is equal to 2, which that means that is letter B. x is equal to 2. Let's go over the next one. Thirty. Let's grab that one up. Log base three of x. So we're gonna move this minus. Well, minus three. We graph it up. Now in here, you can't really tell, but. In here, once again, it looks like it stops there, but it's going to keep going, 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 okay? So we have an asymptote right here, exactly with the y-axis, okay? So that means that this is going to be a vertical asymptote, right, because it's up and down, and it only crosses the x-axis. It's always touching the y-axis, but it only crosses the x-axis, so it's going to be x is equal to, and since it only crosses there, that's a zero, okay? We can also determine this by the movement in here. Since we don't add anything, like a one, we don't move it left to one. We don't add anything, so we don't move it left or right. So we stay at zero because there's nothing here. Okay, so in here, my answer should be B. Nope, that's not B. Huh, which is the answer?
Whoa. Let me move this. And the answer is C. X equals zero. Now let's go over the last one of asymptotes, which is 31. And for 31, we do the exact same thing, but now we're going to put natural log, okay? This natural log means that we're going to put the number next to the 4. Number next to the 4 is natural log. So I'm going to put natural log, well, y equals natural log of x plus 1, parentheses plus 5. And graph it. Now we talked about this. Every single one that has a log, it looks like it stops there. Okay? But this is going to keep going and coming down, 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 down. And it keeps going down, 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 down. Let me... kind of looks like this but it's not crooked because my, my line is crooked there okay so now we have an asymptote right there okay this is once again a vertical asymptote only touches the x-axis right there so it's going to be x x is equal to negative 1, negative 1, and we can also get that from here, because this makes it, makes the graph move to the left one unit, so that's why we have a negative number as our asymptote, so in here, our answer should be, let's move this out of the way, our answer should be B.